Hi folks, Shane here, just off for a little ride. Um, it looks like it may rain, but uh, hey ho, it's still being out on the bike, what counts? <laughs> so, you might notice I've got a, a slightly different setup for the, the camera. It's now located there instead of over there. Uh, different helmet, I'm just trying out different um, positions for both the camera and for the microphone. And instead of using my old Apple earbuds, with the earbuds cut off as a microphone, I'm using my Rode Lavalier. Um, quite an expensive option, I think this one is about nearly 60 quid. But I'm just using it as a trial to see if I can get you guys better audio and um, better visual as well. I must admit, I do prefer the camera to be on the on the front piece rather than on the side of the helmet. Um, simple reason is um, that uh, I think you get a better view and it's less um, obtrusive on the side of the helmet, i.e. you don't get the wind bashing your head around and uh, whatnot. So hopefully it's a win-win all round. As I say. Now obviously I, I use a showy Neotech helmet which is due for change in the next few months and um, I'm puzzling what to go for next. Do I go for an adventure style helmet to go with a, an adventure style bike or do I go for a, a full face standard look about it type helmet. Um, pros and cons to both. I mean I think the adventure helmets look absolutely fantastic on the old bikes but you've got that peak and when you get a bit of speed up it does tend to cause a bit of drag especially if you do a quick lifesaver like that and the side of the peak catches it and your head nearly gets ripped off <laughs> so we'll have a look there's plenty of nice crash helmets out there um, so I would imagine I'll be going to either an Arai of some description whether that's the Tor X4, I had one of those before and it was a brilliant helmet or an AGV X9 or possibly a BMW Enduro helmet that's on the Enduro front on the full face style helmet uh, I'll most probably stick with Arai or possibly HJC they seem to be making very good helmets at the moment um, it's a brand I've not had before and um, yeah they look fairly tidy but anyway, we'll see So last night I discovered a new channel on YouTube, Andy Cam Man. Um, <laughs> absolutely brilliant. I'm watching his uh, NC500-ish tour at the moment. I think there's seven or eight episodes to it, um, where he comes over from Germany. And uh, as a tour around Scotland with his mother and his stepdad. And uh, yeah, very entertaining. Unfortunately he hasn't had the best of weather whilst being up there, but that's the chance you take with Scotland, isn't it? It's, um, it's breathtaking scenery, regardless of the weather, but it's just a bit crap if you're riding a bike in it all the time. Um, yeah, so Andy Canman, I think, is the name of the channel. If I've got it wrong, I'll put it up in the video now. But well worth a watch. I think the lad lives in, in Germany. And... Uh, yeah, I've, uh, I shall explore more of his videos when I got through this little series. So, what other exciting news have I got to tell you? Well, um, we're booked to go camping in May, so I'm looking forward to that. Some friends of ours, um, another GS rider, or GS8 rider, recently converted from the dark side. Um, he invited us, um, or him and his wife invited us to go camping with them to a place actually that Kim and I went camping uh, last year, back and beyond. Um, sort of Ringwood area near the New Forest, absolutely cracking place. So yeah, we got that coming up in May. Uh, Adventure Bike Rider, Ooh, fingers crossed it's still on, that's June, June the 25th weekend. Uh, so really looking forward to doing both of those. Um, and of course, Throughout the pandemic, I've been watching YouTube and looking at all the motorcycle news and all the rest of it, and new models. And as you know, I'm a big BMW fanboy, and I'm considering, and at the moment it's only considering, purchasing a new bike. And of course, it's going to be BMW. 
Um, I did look at other brands, uh, Ducati, Honda, KTM, um, and although they're all lovely bikes, um, to be honest with you, for the best all-rounder, in my opinion, it is the BMW uh, brand. Not only for uh, the bikes, but for their aftercare, after sales care, you know. So I'm looking at a new BMW GSA 1250 in triple black with all the toys on, with the exception of the Akrapovich. Um, and the only reason why I'm not going for that is, I, for me personally, um, is the sound going to be that much different? Well, if it is, it doesn't bother me because I quite like the sound of the standard can. And the way I see it, anything that you can slip on, <laughs> as in a can, can quite easily be slipped off when it's parked up of an evening when you're away. So just for peace of mind, I'm just going for the standard can on it. Um, so I'll be having a chat with my friends over at Barnstormer, cracking group of guys and girls over there. If you ever want to try out a BMW or thinking about buying a BMW, Barnstormer Alton. Um, ask to see either Paul or Keith or any of them over there to be honest with you they're all, all absolutely brilliant and I'm sure they'll accommodate you just tell them that Shane sent you along and you might even get a free cup of tea and a biscuit um, yeah um, so I'll keep you posted on that I did look at the new RT the new 1250 RT in blue I think it's called the RT Sport um, and that now comes with the adaptive cruise control and all the different engine modes including different levels of engine braking same as the GSA and the GS but uh, I've had an RT absolutely loved it but I have to say I'm loving the GS and GSA variant a bit more at the moment and uh, as I said before these machines are so versatile it's a can do anything type of bike and it's um, you know so much fun to ride whether you're just commuting to work having a ride out with your mates or, or doing a bit of touring um, it can do it all and in comfort in fact I think um, this is more comfortable for me than the RT um, or certainly my old air cooled RT um, I mean this is a 2014 model, liquid cooled and uh, I love it, really do Oh, Mr Kawasaki Where are you going dear boy? Mm. Now these are a lot of fun They really are a lot of fun And you know, yes it's not a racing bike but do you know what, I don't care Do I want to be doing under an 80 mile an hour? No <laughs> You know, I just like to bimble along 70, 80 where it's uh, legal to do so and um, just enjoy it, you know. So for those of you who are local and watch my channel, you might recognise where we are now. Just coming up to White Ways, which used to be a, a biker's cafe, kiosk, whatever you want to call it. And it used to get... Uh, pretty good attendance from all the local bikers but they stopped doing the burgers and whatnot and now it's just a coffee stop and I think it's Mr. Trick really to be honest with you yeah no bikes in there today I mean that place would be heaving during the summer and uh, spring and autumn not so much during the winter obviously but it would be absolutely heaving uh, as I say, the, the uh, bacon and egg and the sausage and the burgers side of it and chips has gone now. And uh, it's just coffees, cheese, ice creams and pastries I believe. Mm. Maybe they're looking for a, a different sort of customer. But as I say, great shame. So this is coming into Berry Hill. And um, I shall be here doing my photography thing on Sunday from 10 till 2. Uh, yeah. And again, you can see they've, they've taken all the trees out here as well. 
Um, hey ho, there you go. So, where I'll be standing is just on this bend coming up in the lay-by where that uh, Sainsbury's delivery truck is. So yeah, Sunday from 10 till 2. I should be there with the camera. Bike of Picks UK. Okie dokies. So, where are we off to next? I think Petworth might be a good choice. Hmm. Here we go. So what's your thoughts on the new Hayabusa? Um, I'll be open and honest with you, it's not my cup of tea, but a lot of folks seem to be raving on about it. And um, yeah, fair play to them. I mean, it's a quick bike. It's just aesthetically never appealed to me, that bike. And um, yeah, it's a, uh, it's, too much of a big old lump really you know it's always given me this uh, I don't know how can I put it I've just never been attracted to it and, and each to their own at the end of the day you know some people hate to look at GS's GSA's I don't um, but no the new Hayabusa it, it's better than the old one I'll be honest with you it looks a lot tidier but um, is it for me? Don't think so. Oh, really clever way of parking your truck. I had a little ride out on the 12th of April, which as you all know, was the grand opening of non-essential shops and pubs and whatnot. And do you know what? It was actually quite nice to see um, everybody out having a pint even though it was a bit cold and uh, going into the shops again I mean my wife went back to work um, or opened her business again on, on Monday and I think she did a 12 hour day bless her art just to try and cope with all the um, business requests which is you know great you know it absolutely is brilliant but uh, yeah, thank goodness um, things are getting a little bit back to normal now. <coughs> so, um, uh, quite a few pubs didn't open, unfortunately. Whether that's because they've gone under or they don't think it's viable or they haven't got the facilities to be able to open, i.e. a garden. Uh, but let's hope at some point the uh, the majority of them do manage to reopen their doors and start plying their trade you know especially in the small villages where it's a I think the pub is like the, the centre hub for the community um, and that's how they learn about how their neighbours are doing and if they need a bit of help and whatnot. So folks, it was at this point that my helmet cam battery died. Um, so as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope that the audio and the video is a, a, is a lot better now for you. Um, please leave your comments below and your thoughts. And um, as always, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Stay safe all. Bye.